How Chokes Work in Electronics and Electrical Circuits Part 2 In electronics and electrical engineering, a choke, also known as an inductor or reactor, is a passive two-terminal electrical component that stores energy in its magnetic field when current passes through it. Chokes are made of a coiled wire or winding, which may be wound around a magnetic core made of ferrite or iron. Unlike transformers, chokes usually have a single winding, and they are not designed for efficient energy transfer between circuits. Instead, they are primarily used for specific purposes like filtering, noise suppression, and impedance matching. DC-DC converters, also known as voltage converters or voltage regulators, are electronic circuits or devices used to convert one DC voltage level to another. They play a crucial role in modern electronics, enabling efficient power conversion and supply management in a wide range of applications. Principle of Operation DC-DC converters work on the principle of power switching and energy storage. They use semiconductor devices such as transistors, MOSFETs or BJTs to control the flow of current through inductors or capacitors. The most common types of DC-DC converters are buck converters, boost converters, buck boost converters, and flyback converters. Buck converter, step-down converter. The buck converter is designed to step down the input voltage to a lower output voltage. It consists of a power switch, usually a MOSFET, an inductor, a diode, and an output capacitor. When the power switch is turned on, the current flows through the inductor, storing energy in its magnetic field. When the switch is turned off, the inductor releases the stored energy to the output capacitor, delivering the desired output voltage. Boost Converter, Step-Up Converter the boost converter is used to step up the input voltage to a higher output voltage. It also includes a power switch, an inductor, a diode, and an output capacitor. When the switch is on, the inductor stores energy, and when the switch is off, the inductor transfers the energy to the output, resulting in a higher output voltage. Buck Boost Converter The buck boost converter can provide an output voltage that is either higher or lower than the input voltage. It is achieved by controlling the duty cycle of the power switch, allowing it to function as both a buck and a boost converter. Flyback Converter The flyback converter is commonly used in isolated power supplies. It stores energy in the magnetic field of the transformer when the switch is on and transfers it to the output when the switch is off. The isolation between the input and output is achieved using a transformer. Applications of DC-DC Converters DC-DC converters find widespread use in various electronic devices and systems due to their efficiency and versatility. Some common applications include Voltage regulation DC-DC converters are employed in electronic devices to regulate voltage levels and ensure a stable and consistent power supply to sensitive components. Battery-powered devices, in portable devices like smartphones, laptops, and tablets, DC-DC converters are used to efficiently convert the battery voltage to the required levels for different components. Power supplies, DC-DC converters are used in power supply units for computers, servers, industrial equipment, and automotive applications, providing the necessary voltage levels for different components and loads. Renewable energy systems, DC-DC converters are used in solar energy systems and wind turbines to optimize power conversion and interface with the grid or battery systems. Automotive electronics, in automotive applications, DC-DC converters are used for various purposes, including powering infotainment systems, sensors, and control modules. LED lighting, DC-DC converters are employed in LED lighting systems to provide the appropriate voltage levels for LED arrays. Advantages of DC-DC Converters Efficient power conversion, minimizing energy losses during voltage conversion. Compact size and lightweight, making them suitable for portable and space-constrained devices. High accuracy and stability in providing regulated output voltages. Versatility to step up, step down, or invert voltage levels as required for different applications. Overall, DC-DC converters are essential components in modern electronics, enabling radio frequency, RF, applications refer to the use of electromagnetic waves in the radio frequency spectrum, 
typically ranging from a few kilohertz, kilohertz, to several gigahertz, gigahertz, to carry and transmit information wirelessly. RF technology has become integral to various fields and industries, enabling wireless communication, data transfer, and remote sensing. Some common RF applications include 1. Wireless communication, RF is extensively used in wireless communication systems, including radio broadcasting, television, cellular networks, 2G, 3G, 4G, and 5G, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, and satellite communication. These technologies allow voice, data, and multimedia transmission over long distances without the need for physical cables. 2. Radar, radio detection and ranging radar systems utilize RF signals to detect and track objects, such as aircraft, ships, and weather patterns. Doppler radar, weather radar, and military radar are examples of RF-based radar applications. 3. RFID, radio frequency identification RFID uses RF signals to identify and track objects or individuals. It finds applications in inventory management, access control systems, asset tracking, and electronic toll collection. For NFC, near-field communication NFC is a subset of RFID that operates at close range, typically a few centimeters. It is commonly used for contactless payments, data transfer between devices, and access control. 5. Wireless Sensing and IoT Internet of Things RF-based sensors and wireless communication enable a wide range of applications in the Internet of Things IoT, domain. This includes smart home devices, environmental monitoring, healthcare applications, and industrial automation. 6. Wireless Power Transfer WPTRF can be used for wireless power transfer where energy is transmitted wirelessly from a power source to charge electronic devices or power remote sensors. It finds applications in wireless charging pads for smartphones and other portable devices. 7. Satellite Communication RF signals are used for satellite communication to provide broadcasting, internet connectivity, weather monitoring, and navigation services across large geographic areas. 8. Remote Control Systems RF-based remote controls are commonly used to operate televisions, audio systems, toys, and various other electronic devices. 9. Microwave communication. In addition to traditional radio frequencies, higher frequency RF signals in the microwave range are used for point-to-point -point communication links, satellite communication, and microwave ovens. 10. Telemetry and remote monitoring. RF is used in telemetry systems to transmit data from remote locations to a central monitoring station. This is common in applications like weather monitoring, wildlife tracking, and remote environmental monitoring. These are just a few examples of the wide range of RF applications that play a crucial role in modern technology and everyday life. RF technology continues to evolve, enabling new and innovative applications that improve communication, connectivity, and data transfer across various industries. Ballasts are devices used in lighting systems, particularly in fluorescent lamps and high-intensity discharge HID, lamps, to regulate and control the electrical current flowing through the lamps. They serve two primary functions, starting and stabilizing the lamp operation. 1. Starting Function In fluorescent lamps and some HID lamps, a ballast is required to initiate the lamp ignition process. When the lamp is first turned on, it needs a high voltage to initiate an electric discharge between the electrodes inside the lamp. The ballast provides this initial high voltage to create an arc between the lamp electrodes, which then ionizes the gas or vapor inside the lamp, allowing it to conduct electricity and emit light. 2. Stabilizing Function Once the lamp starts emitting light, the ballast regulates the electrical current flowing through the lamp to ensure stable and consistent light output. Fluorescent and HID lamps are gas discharge lamps, which means their electrical properties change as they operate. Without a ballast, the current through the lamp could increase uncontrollably, leading to unstable and unreliable operation, potential damage to the lamp, and reduced lamp life. Types of Ballasts There are mainly two types of ballasts used in lighting systems. Magnetic ballasts, also known as electromagnetic ballasts, these were the traditional type of ballasts used in older fluorescent and HID lamp systems. They use a magnetic core and copper coils to regulate the current. 
Magnetic ballasts are generally larger, heavier, and less energy efficient than electronic ballasts. They also produce noticeable flickering in the light output, especially at lower frequencies. Electronic ballasts Electronic ballasts are more modern and efficient compared to magnetic ballasts. They use electronic components, such as transistors and capacitors, to regulate the current. Electronic ballasts offer several advantages, including reduced size and weight, higher energy efficiency, improved lamp starting, and reduced flickering. They also provide the option for dimming and can operate at higher frequencies, reducing eye strain from flicker. Advantages of ballasts The use of ballasts in lighting systems provides several benefits, including Facilitating the starting process of gas discharge lamps, ensuring reliable ignition. Stabilizing the lamp operation to maintain consistent light output and improve lamp life. Enhancing energy efficiency by regulating the current and reducing power consumption. Enabling the use of fluorescent and HID lamps in various applications, providing bright and efficient lighting solutions. Note, with advancements in lighting technology, traditional fluorescent and HID lamps are being replaced by more energy-efficient and environmentally friendly options such as LED, light-emitting diode, lighting. LED lights do not require ballasts and have become the preferred choice for various lighting applications due to their superior efficiency, longer lifespan, and reduced environmental impact.